My brothers and sisters, what is extremely important for us to know is if we want to save ourselves from a lot of evil, we need to ensure that those we interact with and mix with and those we choose as friends are better than us or similar. This is mentioned in Surah Al-Furqan about friends. I said when I spoke about Surah Al-Furqan a few days ago that our thinking, our ways and habits connected to those whom we mix with, our friends. If they speak in a certain way, we will end up speaking in that way. If they do not fulfill their salah, we will end up not fulfilling our salah. If they are interested in the Quran, they talk about it. They are, for example, very close to the masjid and they are always there. We will end up going there with them. So make sure my brothers and sisters that you have the best of company. I tell you in verse number 27 of Surah Al-Furqan, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks about the regret of those who chose bad company. Those who could not save themselves from bad company. You know what that means? When you identify that the guys you're mixing with are not right, the battle to stay away from them is so great at times that subhanallah, if you were to succeed, the reward of it is very high. It's not easy. Your friends call you, no, where are you? Come on, stop being this, stop being that. Come on, we're just going out, we're going to enjoy. You know that they're doing drugs, you know that they're doing alcohol, you know that they're clubbing and so on. To stay away is not a joke, you deserve a medal. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it easy for us all and our offspring and every one of the ummah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. My brothers, my sisters, imagine Allah says, وَيَوْمَ يَعَضُّ الظَّالِمُ عَلَى يَدَيْهِ يَقُولُ يَا لَيْتَنِ اتَّخَذْتُ مَعَ الرَّسُولِ سَبِيلًا On that day, the day of judgment, when the oppressor would see that he actually became a sinful person because of his companionship and because he moved away from the path of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he will be chewing his hands he will be chewing his hands in regret, saying, I should have chosen the path of the messenger. Ya waylata laytani lam attakhid fulanan khalila. Oh, destruction upon me. I should have never had such and such a person as my friend. I should have never had him as my, as my friend. Because today is the day of judgment. And look at me. I am on the wrong side. I'm with the wrong people. Because I did not detach myself from this particular guy. Subhanallah. What he did was, he drew me towards that which was wrong. He stopped me from obeying the commands of Allah. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. He never reminded me whenever I was going wrong. This is why I never feel bad when someone corrects you. Never. Someone corrects you, listen, brother, you're not supposed to be doing this. Sister, you're supposed to be doing this and you're not supposed to be doing that. Don't feel bad. That particular statement will come on the day of judgment to bear witness for you or against you. You were told, Allah will say, we created a person who walked up to you and who gave you our message and walked away. And you reacted by feeling bad, spitting at them or speaking harshly to them and so on. But that was Allah's messenger came to you in the form of a person. And the message came to you from that particular person. So don't take it lightly. If it's a good message, listen to it. Subhanallah. We will conclude with number six. Advocate number six, lawyer number six. It is the taking of the good people as friends. It is to take the righteous people, the people of goodness, as friends. Yawm al-Qiyamah, dear brothers and sisters in Islam, the believers, after Allah has saved them from the fire and Allah allows them to enter Jannah, they will realize that some of their friends are missing. Some of their friends whom they studied with, maybe they prayed with, they fasted with, they engaged in hajj with, they did da'wah with, and in Jannah they are missing. And this is a narration that Imam al-Bukhari and Muslim narrate and Ahmad in his Musnad on the authority of Abi Sa'id al-Khudri. So they will complain to Allah, the believers will complain, Ya Rabb, ibadun min ibadik, kanu yusalluna ma'ana, wa yahujjuna ma'ana, wa yuzakkuna ma'ana, wa fi riwayatin wa yaghzuna ghazwana. 
لا نراهم ها هنا. Oh Allah, there are certain servants of yours, brothers of ours, who used to fast with us. They used to pray with us. They used to give zakah with us. They did hajj with us. Oh Allah, we don't see them here in Jannah. They know that they had been taken to the hellfire. They didn't make it. So Allah, the most merciful, will say to those believers, He will say to them, أَخْرِجُوا مَنْ عَرَفْتُمْ Go to the hellfire and take out whoever you recognize. فَتُحَرَّمُوا أَجْسَادُهُمْ عَلَى النَّارِ Then Allah will protect their bodies from the hellfire. Then they will enter inside. And they will begin searching for their brothers. That person could be me. That person could be you. They will search for their sisters. And they will look in Jahannam and they will see some people burning up to their ankles. Others up to their knees. Others up to their waists, others up to their chests, and some people will almost entirely be submerged in oblivion in Jahannam, in fire. And so they will begin pulling out their brothers and sisters, taking them out of the hellfire, rescuing them by the permission of Allah. This is shafa'ah, this is intercession. And they will place them into Nahrul Haya, the river of life. And their bodies will begin to grow. Their blackened and destroyed, destroyed and burnt bodies will begin to grow. And when they are full and healthy again, Allah will allow them to enter Jannah. I ask you here, dear brothers and sisters in Islam, notice what the hadith said. Did it not say the following? They are our brothers, they used to fast with us, pray with us, do zakah with us, engage in hajj with us. In other words, although they are in the hellfire, but they used to be with the believers. So when they entered the hellfire to rescue them, they recognized them. But if you and I, brothers and sisters, are not taking the best people as friends, we're not with them in the salah, we're not with them in the lectures and the positive, the good congregations and gatherings, if we're not there, how will they recognize us when they come to rescue us from the hellfire if we don't make it the first time? How will they recognize us? Thus Imam al-Baghawi, he narrates in his tafsir that Al-Hasan al-Basri, he said, اِسْتَكْثِرُوا مِنَ الْأَصْدِقَاءِ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ فَإِنَّ لَهُمْ شَفَاعَ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ He said, take as many good friends as you can because they will be given intercession on the Day of Judgment. These are six things, dear brothers and sisters, that I wanted to share with you with regards to lawyers and advocates and intercessors who will make our lives so much easier on the day of judgment we have the opportunity to start employing them today